Right, so Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proving ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him where he needs them to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime, to your point, in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, back in the octagon here tonight. So here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the Czech Republic's Yuri Prohaska. Never know what haircut he's going to be bringing. I kind of miss the big, long lettuce. I don't know. Yeah, I love the ponytail. But Yuri Prohaska, for a long time, was considered one of those guys that could have an impact in the UFC. It took him a while to get here. But once he got here, it was all systems go, and he made a beeline toward becoming the light heavyweight champion. He has all the skills needed to be at the top of the sport. And tonight, he steps in the octagon once again, trying to get his hand raised. Prohaska first became the champion in June of 2022, then had a devastating shoulder injury, and a lot of fans worldwide wanting to see how he responds as he gets back on the proving ground tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Israel, the last style bender out of style. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, Yuri Danisa Prokasa. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, he came into the UFC as one of the hottest prospects the Octagon had seen in years, and Israel Adesanya has done nothing to diminish that hype. Stuffed 12 takedowns in his UFC debut, and the expectation is that most opponents are going to try to ground the last style bender. Let's see if he can keep this fight up right here tonight. Right hook to the head block. Well, you can spot that wide base, that stance of Yuri Prohaska from a mile away. His opponent didn't see that right hand coming. Yeah, that right hand is, is tremendous from Yuri Prohaska. But that right hand starts with that wide base, with his ability to draw your mistake, and then he always capitalizes on it. Israel Adesanya gets caught by the straight punch. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Oh, nice combo, yeah. Frantic pace early on to this one. There's that counter game of Israel Adesanya in full effect early in this fight. He's so long, and he does such a great job of seeing and picking up reads of when you're going to attack. 
The moment you enter, Izzy hits you with those counter shots, and he really makes you pay for trying to engage him in the fight. Maybe now they landed on both sides in that exchange. Effective use of the jab there by Pro Hustle. Oh, beautiful straight right hand there from Israel Adesanya. You know, you worry so much, DC, about the kicking game. Sometimes you forget about those hands on Israel Adesanya. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Honing in on those counters. Beautiful defensive skills on this play. Same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. 26 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And there it is. Two minutes now to go. Sonya putting his words into action. I don't throw and hope. I aim and fire. The accuracy is just on a completely different level, and not surprising that he has drawn comparisons to the consensus greatest middleweight champion in UFC history, the great Anderson the Spider Silver. Why right, late the round now, it has been all Israel out of Sonya. He's landed a lot of power shots, not necessarily forcing the finish. Though. It's the way that he can land wherever he decides he wants to, with his legs, with his hands, with his elbows. It all comes back to the striking of the last Stylebender. Tonight, he is putting on a masterful performance. Trying to set up that counterattack. Under a minute now to go. Oh, nice straight right there. Prohaska's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, high kick. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, big elbow. Oh, deep block there. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Final seconds around one. Adesanya's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh. Who sounds for the end of round one? All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, next round is now on the oh. oh, gotta keep pressing here. Oh, oh big left. Israel Adesanya going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Nice jab, Israel. Oh, nice 
combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh! The overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just going to his or just trying to get some extra reps, but don't finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with him. Adesanya's in half guard now. Making all these shots count. Seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Rojaska's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice block. Just over two minutes to go. Rips the body there for good measure. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Prohaska gets hit by that kick to the body. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Under a minute now to go round two. Oh, wow, great jab there by Izzy. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh! Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Back to his feet. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. He's in a lot of trouble now. Oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Round three next. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now.
Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Jab there by Adesanya. He's mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 45 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yuri Denisa Koshelka. So Yuri Prohaska lighting up the masses and the arena as usual as he is your winner tonight by knockout. Massive knockout victory for Yuri Prohaska. The guy wins fights, and he wins fights in 